Good morning, Clarence Farrington Elementary. Happy Friday, March 10th, 2023. Today is Harriet Tubman Day, International Day of Awesomeness Day, and International Bagpipe Day. It is also a special birthday for Joshua in Miss Sargent's class. Also with a birthday this weekend is Carlos in Miss Rice's class. Carlos will be celebrating his birthday on Sunday. As we continue to celebrate Women's History Month, I thought I would share another fact about women's voting rights. The 19th Amendment, which granted women the right to vote, was signed into law in August of 1920. But at the time, a number of other laws prohibited Native American women Black women, Asian American women, and Latinx women from voting, among others. It wasn't until 1924 that Native women born in the United States were granted citizenship, allowing them to vote. Even after 1924, Native women and other women of color were prevented from voting by state laws such as poll taxes and literary tests. Excuse me, literacy tests. It wasn't until 1965 when President Lyndon B. Johnson signed the Voting Rights Act into law that discriminatory tactics such as literacy tests were outlawed and all women could vote. Holy moly, friends. Congratulations are in order to the Clarence Farrington Elementary girls basketball team on not just one, but two wins last night. That's right, friends. They will be playing tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. at Broad Ripple High School in the Indianapolis Public Schools Basketball Championship. That is so exciting. Saturday, March 11th, 10 a.m., Broad Ripple High School. Be there or be square. I am so excited to watch the girls play, and I know they would love to see your smiling faces in the stands as well. Looking ahead, no school, Friday, March 24th, because of pit day, and the whole next week is spring break. Hi, my name is Joseph, and today I will do an elevator breathing, and I am his right class. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe Hi, my name Great is Joseph. Great job, Joseph. Now for info on Misty Copeland. Today, friends, we are going to read about Misty Copeland. Misty Copeland was the first African American ballerina to be appointed as a principal dancer for the American Ballet Theater, one of the leading ballet companies in the United States. Misty has always lived her life in fluid and constant motion. Frequent moves and conflict at home rocked her childhood, but she kept going. After sleeping on the floors of motels with her five siblings and regularly enduring hunger, Misty moved to California. Despite her harsh upbringing, participating in dance classes at her new school became a source of peace. She said, finding ballet was like finding a missing piece of myself. While studying under ballet instructor Cindy Bradley, Misty found inspiration in the story and work of gymnast Nadia Kamanichi and created routines to the music of singer Mariah Carey. Her endless drive led her to serve as the captain of her middle school's drill team. Later, it earned her a spot on the American Ballet Theater Studio Company and Cour de Ballet. In 2015, Misty became the first African-American 
principal dancer in the company's history. Her spry agility in performances of the Firebird and the Nutcracker gained global attention due to her unique flair. This cemented her position as one of the few black performers at the highest levels of classical dance. Time Magazine named her one of the 100 most influential people for her pioneering work and her outspokenness about diversity in the dance world. So today, friends, we are going to read about Misty. All right, friends, that is all I have for today. I hope that you have a fantastic weekend. Don't forget, if you're able to be at Broad Ripple High School tomorrow at 10 o'clock, I'm sure the girls would love your support. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.